Zambia's agricultural industry is an important component of the country's economy. And the livestock sector is a key part of that. The sector plays an important role in food production, as well as in generating income for smallholder farmers and the nation at large. Improving productivity is crucial, especially for smallholder farmers. Farmers need to adopt sustainable livestock management practices. And for that, they need access to improved livestock services. Uh, in terms of population, in terms of livestock, we are now uh, at around 1.3 million in, in Zambia. One third are just closed up in southern province. The smallholder sector in Zambia accounts for about 80% of the total livestock in the country. But the majority of farmers are constrained by long distances that have to be covered to access livestock services, inadequate extension services, and lack of knowledge and training in herd health and management. There was a big knowledge gap before the coming of Musika in the management of our animals. We have been keeping animals, cattle in particular, from time immemorial. We were keeping animals in the traditional ways, and then our animals uh, were programmed that every nine months, they are in the plains when the water recedes. When the plains get dry, then we take our animals to, to the, into the plains. But when the plains flood, we remove our animals from the plains to the upper land. And at the upper land, they stay for three months. Now, uh, in three months, in the upper land, that's where we had the, that's where we had the facilities, eh? like the deep tank, the, uh, the crash pens, or whatever facility that you may think of in administering cattle. They were in the upper land. In the plains, there was nothing, eh? meaning that uh, even when dipping, the animals were supposed to be uh, driven from the plains to the upper land, where the dipping facilities are. And then, after dipping them, we take them back to, into the plains. And that was a very uh, big job to, uh, to, uh, to, to us farmers. Because dipping them, uh, especially when, during the dry season, dipping the animals was taking us at least a, minim a minimum number of three days for you to finish that, that job of dipping. Since 2012, Musika has been working to develop a robust private sector veterinary product distribution and service market. By 2018, it had reached over 62,800 smallholders across the country. 16% of those farmers are women, like Naomi Shulwe. Then, <laughs> Then 
So cha wea nika kwa mbatu kwa itolo two years ingo mbete hari kabo kui na kuharape. So ingo mbeka hita i kumbere maning chosa indisha kuyoka, cha kuyoka nsh. Ina mbake time zero pe chosa indike yoka nsh. So tuwa kala hmm ne shingo mbetu wa hisunga buti. Tuwa anga kubu ya buhi ya mbono wa shi ya tu satire ingo mbeka hita tuwa ompo la vet ah ingo mbeka suya sat. Kwa mbao so tuwe ntu kwa te tu kwa te tu hivyo kama nwe ingo mbeka sat andere kui ya samu samu ni. Na andele kui chitabuti katuta chibu yene chechope. Mm. So chawe nika kuti umasubaza ita kuina chakuliko kongonde te ingonde akita pikinga. Eh, tuwa kwa ndelo malo si chose chinti. So when we started work in 2012, and looking at the agricultural sector, uh, we looked at the, the livestock market and found that, that, that there are about 350,000 smallholders that pr uh, produce cattle, um, probably uh, about 500,000 that uh, have goats as part of one of their production systems. And we found that the, the number of market services that they had uh, available to them were, was very, very small. They're uh, primarily based, sort of uh, relying on a, um, an overstretched and underfunded public sector uh, support service in terms of veterinary medicines, in terms of uh, training and so on. Um, and, and we feel that there were tremendous opportunities for some of the private veterinary companies that existed in the country uh, to um, participate in um, providing both services, training, extension and so on to the smallholder market. As Musika, basically, our role is that of facilitating. And how do we facilitate? We facilitate uh, our intervention by helping the private sector to build their capacity for them to, do, to, build, to come up with a business model that which will reach out to the small-scale farmers. So we, pro we, give, we provide two uh, critical services. The first service that we provide to the, small scale, to the private sector is basically the technical support. And that technical support is how do we help this private sector to mobilize, to engage the community, to understand the characteristics of the, uh, of the smallholder market. And after they have, the, 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 they have that knowledge of the smallholder market, what business plan can they put in place to make sure that the private, the small scale farmers participate and give them that confidence to invest in their own production. You know, in Zambia, it's very, very difficult to get started in any business because one, uh, getting to the bank, the interest rates are very, very uh, high. So you'll find that if you get a loan from the bank, even when you start your business, your markup level in terms of profit becomes very high, too high, that your clients won't afford. But we support the, like a startup uh, Capital that Musica has partnered with us, vehicles, technical support, and it is at least uh, it's like uh, it's a matching grant. Yeah. So if more support can make can come, uh, you'll find that uh, productivity, uh, such interventions, will play a very big role in uh, uh, in increasing the productivity of the livestock sector. Then we've got also issues of gender that which we are we are working on, uh, so that we, may, we make sure that more women and and youth do participate uh, into this agriculture space. Musika's interventions help break down barriers that hindered livestock service companies from bringing their products and services at the smallholder farmer's doorstep, thus paving the way for farmers to access affordable health, nutrition and genetics products and services for a range of livestock and a transparent output market for livestock products.
This is also backed by technical knowledge provision and training so that high production and productivity of smallholder herds is guaranteed.
tulaziyeta ku service ziraji twa service zirabonwa ziradibwa ayi zirabonwa otseno zibigabonwa amba oti basigisi ko bali basiba kino jindi no twambaura mm dijisingombe bunganda yango zikwa na forte five kuri basiba barandi twa sambara ngombe zikwa na zitareli ku eight ali mitura bon to bwene kuti watu gwasha kamba oti muro ubanka uri kabotu ali ma payments ta muki ta muki pe ali ta kumwa mbo asambalira biyo bona bo buzo bara kupa mali kuti je ngachiri kabotu kwinda amwe ma abatu aji ta kuti mwasambala sunu mura pegwa ti mugawe pole zona mugawe ora for four days so bo watu wa kusiyubala ni buto ajana With Masika's presence in the communities, they have a good understanding of what's happening in the communities and can actually give advice to the company on how to best approach the communities and work with them. Sometimes when you have challenges or want to start new new initiatives. The big factor for us is with a slick program that we're currently working with is that we've proven that this model works. And I think that, that's the, the that's the important part for us is that we're able to one support the small scale farmer in improving the quality of his herd through dipping through interventions with uh, deworming dehorning uh, training on on better animal husbandry practices this then has increased the number of cattle available into the market space and cattle of a better quality if masika hadn't joined us from the beginning on that it might have been a more difficult to actually kick start the program and get it going A total of 14 companies have been supported by Musika. These include Vet24, LVSCC, Baimida, and Silverlands Ranching Limited, who tested different business models in specific regions. The range of, of support services that we've provided to those companies uh, has ranged from logistical support, helping companies to, uh, with vehicles and motorbikes to be able to facilitate outreach into the smallholder community. Um, we've helped with, with uh, capacity building at the institutional level or at the organisational level itself. Um, and in fact, some of our smaller companies are working very closely with our small business uh, capacity building initiative that we're running called Agribusiness Accelerate Initiative. Um, we've also provided uh, spray races and other livestock service centres. And actually one of the things we're most proud of is the fact that uh, we put out, um, I think it's about 12 to 14 livestock service centres ourselves. Uh, and, and as a result of that, um, local artisans in the, uh, in the livestock communities have replicated uh, about 60 of those themselves. So they've, t they've seen the designs that we've helped put the companies put out and they've, uh, they've developed their own versions of them. Um, and between them, I think all of those are now uh, dipping and servicing about 30,000 cattle. So I'm going to go to the house. 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 Wagari challenge ya utichibari wa nda kujibandi suwe. Kibani nga wana uvotu. Pona ngombini ya atari kwa kukwa kuri wabu wa atari wa nda kusanga na andi suwe. Chiji ni waga wana tiwaya wa taihui. Pona wabaga hiyo atari ya kutusanga na. From 10 members kuswa mu 2016, kusika mu 2017, tuwa kawa 36 members, ma families ayo. Ayo ma families nga adiba ino. Mujindi nyo tuamba utikuzwa mu 2016 ni huina ngombe ya hui dechita wa isa mbara kututole bana kujigoro. Harimi itawa isa mbara kutuure fertilize au yungihe. Pona aburi mi wa sumpuga muga eri ya ganoga gantengwa. Kambo oti ngombe tulijisi tatupengi wa sune wa gubopa. Tatupengi mugu paa guga ma utitu tunye. So bana romo nutrition mbeye ya ya mana nkambo uti nyeri every month. So 
So a number of factors when it comes to selling cattle is one is that we, 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 we create a transparent transaction with a small scale farmer in, in that he's uh, is able to bring the cattle to site. He actually watches the weighing of his cattle and the prices that we offer are, are placed up front with the cattle. So they know before they arrive what the prices are going to be and there's a transparent transaction. There's no um, hidden weights or anything like that. So the farmers have a very trans uh, transparent interaction. Long time ago, I was talking about the farm, but I was talking about the now this time it's very important because when you answer that in Gombe, from from fighting the diseases, then again he comes here and add more. Ola is a group na we have a market is in Gombe agwe to avoid loss. Ola he bad in Gombe ang Gombe itola na kuzambi. For example, in this in Gombe ale ma about two two hundred and fifty kgs. Then he are giving the total maybe is a steer, but when to maybe maybe balala ten kwacha. So Ola he bad from eh in Gombe itola kuri boria. Then maybe now they extend the Muluan. So just to a Maringa, I'm to Lumbago, I'm Siga, to Agulumbago, Luguasho in Juguazo. This has resulted in 128 points of access to veterinary services by rural communities between 2012 and 2019. Musika has provided world-class business development services to Zambia's agricultural markets since inception. We have to talk about the Vet 24. So so to go on a bomb AI, but in Penoba, bomb beba bamba herwa, Ukuba is wrong money, Kuba bull. Uba AI, now Barabara Kubo Takinda, Babani. Eh, then he got out and a kuya here. Kuyumba AI, eh, to a care of a toga and a dimish in Gabaina, eh, Momenja AI. So on the Kawana Tingombe, AI, Shiri Shirabara Kubota Kindash, Shakuch Tenini, or he is over Bull. Mombe had daily, Dabona Kobot, to a Kamamu Kupa, to a Tora Kupamarat, to a Sambara Mukupa. A man of Monamo Mukupa, Mutua, the Animutua, the farm, Len on Dion and Dutu Edemon. Then I didn't farm in G, put him under. Forgot you were lucky in Damu Mukupamon, one on the Hesha day. A man who went a Mukupaezu, the Royal Kutorabana, Mushkor, my private. More than by your grade nine. Then was second, you are grade seven, one by grade seven. Then he came Karaya grade two. Bari apita seni nguba ya bwo senda ro hakuba kuba dipirira Maria a ha ku mukupa This has deepened and broadened the impact of economic growth to all levels of rural society. For example, one enterprising farmer in Chief Mungaila's chiefdom has developed a new skill of making spray racers and selling them across the country. When they bring these spray racers, 
just take a look. How do they make these things? Well, after taking a look, we are saying, hmm. I can manage to make these things. That's where I went to Lusaka. In Lusaka, we bought some pipe. Initially, I started with the, those black pipe, not this one. This one is the latest one. I started with the black pipe. They could take to the certain company where they could bend them. They bend some joints, some corners. Then instead, come here, just join, uh, make a, a spray And I can make some nozzles, what and what, on my own. I do drink some nozzles and put it to the spray. The owner would just take and build. If he wants some iron sheet, he put some iron sheet. Others prefer mounting cages, just some blocks. I have produced so many, I think they could go up to maybe 60, 70, or close to 100 maybe. Some have sold them to Chibunze, Nia, some have sold to Lusaka, some Monze, some Kalomo, the space we make from here. One space, I think nowadays goes at 35,000. But we here, here, I do just 15,000, like this type. I do, it goes at 15,000 each spray race. And uh, I think there is a little profit, just because uh, some can't even afford to buy for 35. So I have decided to come a bit down so that I could get some market. Today, agro dealers, I think it's a wake up call that they should reach out to other commodities like livestock trying to, to close up where we are failing as government. As government, we should endeavor at all times uh, to push ourselves back from those uh, uh, services and allow the private sector to, 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 get, to get in as much as possible. If we want to call livestock production as a business, because everything that you are getting from a needle to oxygen must be factored in a business equation. I think where we, where we look at uh, government policy, it's important more from a structural point of view in the sense that we have good veterinary controls in the areas, we have good control of movement of animals, we have good control of uh, from a disease management and a veterinary control, uh, movement of cattle uh, to protect against the disease outbreaks, and just a free market system where, where farmers and, and uh, both commercially and small scale and business can meet in the open space and there can be a free flow of cattle uh, through the value chain. In terms of our activities, we started our activities in 2011 after receiving uh, initial funding from uh, CEDA, who are our core uh, supporting partner, supporting the core activities of uh, Musika, who were later on joined by DFID in 2012. And uh, from there, uh, currently we are being funded by other, other donor or implementing partners, such as the uh, the Irish Edge, who are looking at uh, supporting the nutrition, making new agriculture market work for nutrition. Wild fish, who are also supporting uh, the aquaculture. As you have seen, as you have known, uh, everyone now is trying to uh, explore this uh, space in the uh, in the agriculture uh, sector. Then we have also uh, the NORAD or the Norwegian government, who have come in uh, to support the development or building the capacity of our small. Uh, and medium uh, enterprises uh, here in Zambia. Musika believes that stimulating and supporting private sector investment in the veterinary sector will result in increased access to veterinary products and services by smallholders. This is key in increasing household incomes and reducing poverty and contributing to the realization of Zambia's agricultural diversification agenda.